Well, hi there, boys and girls and everybody else that's watching. So glad that you can watch with us today and just enjoy the story. Uh, it's, it's going to be another wonderful story. We're going to be talking about Israel's new king. Israel's new king. Do you remember who we talked about yesterday? We'll get into it just in a little bit. Thank you all for taking the time to be here today. Uh, my name is Pastor Paul. I'm the pastor of the Burnettsville First Baptist Church. And I love to talk to children and kids and, and adults and all sorts of people about my best friend, my best friend, Jesus. And it's just a good, good time to be here with you. I hope you get yourself situated and get ready. Uh, get your volume adjusted. Get the ants out of your pants so you can sit still for just a moment because I think it's going to be an exciting story. Now, at the end of the story, I'm going to share with you some, some other things that's important and some deadlines that are coming up. I think you'll really enjoy everything that we have today. We're here every day live at 11 o'clock, Monday through Friday. But you can watch on YouTube or Facebook, either one, throughout the week and catch up on all the stories that we have in the Bible. So let's get started. As I told you, the title for today is Israel's New King. As you can imagine, defeating the giant Goliath. Remember, we talked about Goliath last week or yesterday and saving Israel made David, remember David, made him pretty popular. If you defeat a giant like Goliath, remember he was almost nine feet tall. That would make you very popular. Everyone in Israel wanted to be David's friend. Even King Saul, the guy that was the king at the time. When David was old enough, the king asked him to be a leader in the army. David might not have been the tallest or the strongest, but even King Saul could tell that God was with him. Every time David went out, to fight a battle, God was with him, and David won. So King Saul sent David to fight many, many battles, and David kept on winning. At first, this made King Saul very happy. But as David kept winning, the king became less healthy, happy. You see, the more David won, the more popular David became. Hooray for David, the people would yell every time they saw him. King Saul got jealous. He got jealous of all David's popularity because it started with the killing of Goliath, the giant. King Saul got very jealous. Do you know what jealous means? To be jealous is to want something that someone else has. Yeah, that can happen, being jealous. With all this winning, David was now more popular than King Saul. If David kept winning, eventually the people would want David to be king. King Saul was very jealous of David's popularity. He was jealous of all of David's victories. He was jealous that God was with David. So King Saul got angry. Have you ever been so angry that you did something that wasn't very smart? Probably we all have. Like throw your favorite toy against the wall or yell at your best friend. There's some things that's not very smart when you get angry. Yep, anger can make us do bad things. As King Saul's anger got bigger and bigger and bigger, he decided he wanted to do a really, really bad thing. 
He wanted to kill David. Oh, King Saul was so angry, he wanted to kill somebody. That's right. Even though David was helping King Saul win all of these battles, even though David was helping keep Israel safe, King Saul wanted to kill him. David found out that King Saul wanted to kill him. It's a bad thing when a king wants to kill you because the whole army obeys the king, whether they want to or not. The whole army would try to kill David too. Oh, David was so worried and so concerned. But David had a best friend. Do you have best friends? Do you have best friends? I'll bet you do. Name off some of your best friends. Name them off to whoever's with you. Name them off. Yeah. We've all got best friends, don't we? I've got best friends too. And some of you kids are my best friends. Some of your parents are my best friends. Some of your grandparents are my best friends. Just goes on and on and on. I have best friends. So who is your best friends? Well, David's best friend was Jonathan. Now, Jonathan promised he would tell David if King Saul wanted to hurt him, was having plans to hurt him. How would Jonathan know that? Hmm. Because Jonathan was King Saul's son. So he would know. Jonathan didn't want his father to hurt the king to kill his friend David. So when Jonathan heard his father making a plan to kill David, he ran to David and told him. David knew he couldn't stay, couldn't stay around King Saul with all the rest of the Israelites and even his best friend Jonathan. He couldn't stay by him anymore. So David, you know what he did? You know what he did? He ran away and hid from King Saul and his army. He hid in the desert. Oh, wouldn't that be hot to hide in the desert? So, so hot. He hid in caves. And caves might be kind of chilly at night in caves. He waited for God to tell him that King Saul didn't want to kill him anymore. And he waited for God to tell him what to do next. How long do you suppose David ran from King Saul? Did he run for a week? Did he run for a month? You know how long King or, uh, David ran from King Saul? He ran for him for eight years years. That's a long time. You could run a long ways away from King Saul in eight years, couldn't you? That'd be a long way. Do you remember another time where some people, some story that we've had, do you remember there was another time when it was a long period of time when people got a time out because they weren't doing right? Do you remember that story? If you have one of these Bibles, one of these laugh and learn Bibles, you can turn back to page 91. Turn to page 91. I'll give you a minute to get there. Turn to page 91 and you can see somebody else that waited a long, long time like David did. 91, Israel was put in a timeout for 40 years. Not just eight years, not 20 years, but 40 years. Things happen. And so a long time, David had to wait before King Saul didn't want to kill him anymore. David knew that he had to go. David ran and hid from King Saul and his whole army, but God was with him. And David 
and God kept David safe. Then one day, once upon a time, there was a great battle between the Philistines and King Saul's army. Many Israelites died in the battle. David's best friend, who was David's best friend? It was Jonathan. David's best friend was killed also in the battle. And you know who else was killed? Jonathan's father, King Saul. David was very sad to hear that so many Israelites had been killed. He was especially sad to hear that his friend Jonathan had died. He was even sad to hear that King Saul had died. Now, Israel needed a new king. King Saul was dead. Jonathan, his son, was dead. So Israel needed a new king. Who would they choose? Who would Israel choose to be the new king? Did you guess it? Who could help them be victorious in all their battles? Who would help them follow God? The Israelites thought about it, and they remembered who had been following God all along, and remember who God had helped win all those battles before he had been forced to run for his life. You guessed it. David. David was who they chose. In time, Jesse's son David would become Israel's king, and what a king he would be. Well, on our family connection today, I want, you to, I want to tell you that this story is found in 2 Samuel 2. 2 Samuel 2. Everyday truth for today. I don't need to compare myself to others because God made me the right way. He made you just like you are. God made you like you are. He put in what foods you like. He made your taste buds work. And you like food and they give you different loving talents. And we're going to be talking about those later. So how about a couple of questions? Why was Saul jealous of David? Why was Saul jealous? Think about that. Can you think why Saul was jealous? Because David was so popular Everybody loved him, and King Saul wasn't as much loved, and that's why King Saul became very jealous. Share a time when you struggled with jealousy, with who's ever sitting with you. Think about a time when you were jealous. I remember that I was jealous one time when a good friend of mine got a toy that I had been wanting and wanting and wanting so bad. But my friend got that toy, and I was a little bit jealous of him. But you know what? With that friend, that friend helped me or let me play with that toy. My friend helped me or let me play with that toy that I was so jealous that he got. So I want you to think about that. You may get a little jealous, but it's going to turn around for good. Let's pray. Dear God, it is never, never helpful to compare ourselves to others. Please show us the, the unique way that you have made us according to your plan. Amen. Well, that was a nice story, and we'll have a Another story tomorrow. I hope you keep washing your hands. Keep washing your hands. It's important to do. And remember, sign up for church camp. The church is going to be paying for it. So get on to camptippy.org. Camptippy.org. Please, everybody, get signed up for it. Get signed up. And you can get a uh, activity box from the camp mailed to you. 
Also, remember, go Mino. It's been a few days since I've told you about that. Go Mino. Dot com. Go Mino, G O M I N N O dot com. There's so many fun activities, a lot of Veggie Tales stories, and a lot of other stories that are on the computer. Go check it out and have fun with it. So, thanks for being here. Remember, you can earn this Bible by memorizing two scriptures, John 3, 16 and Kings 12, Romans 12, 21. Romans 12, 21. I was thinking about Kings. Who was the king? Remember, King Saul. And now it's going to be King David. That's all the story I have for today. We'll have a story again tomorrow. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.